Hey guys, 4am here and it's time for another update. <laughs> I'm barely awake. Um, I have added two types of AI. Uh, I have added uh, new graphics. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, so uh, right now the character, if it's uh, got nothing equipped on in the weapon department, um, his uh, hands are gonna be used and uh, they were given some default damage very low d default damage if you got a weapon or two uh, the highest uh, damage will be used of those two there are still no dual wielding in this one uh, right now if you aggro a pick from afar oh yeah I need um, if you got the weapon, throwable weapon in your uh, character slot, it's gonna be used in melee, and uh, the game will prevent you from throwing that weapon, just in case. It might not be really logical, but uh, it's a something I needed to add for more playability, I guess, as I didn't want to end up uh, throwing all my stuff. So the the pet or yeah the pet I got a pet now. Um, so if you aggro, uh, the target will follow you if it's a boar. Right now the boar is slower than me, so I can actually kite it around and uh, probably kill it with like million shots because it's got pretty high HP. But uh, if it uh, in in reality it's gonna be much faster, and if it's uh, close to me. It's gonna start hitting me. Right now, it hit me for 10. 10. <laughs> it has like a 75% chance to hit. And I got no armor, so I'm pretty much a dead meat. Uh, if it kills me, I've implemented simple game over, which just turns your character into ghost and the whole game freezes. Uh, being ready for the end game screen like game over you survived for you killed that many squirrels and so on uh, I'll just uh, restart the game alright so that's the first type of AI you can actually kill the boar by going into debug mode where you have a uh, higher hit chance and well you have 100% uh, uh, hit chance and like a lot of damage so we can just kill the boar right now there's no dead uh, dead image or animation or whatever it's just uh, the flipped image of the original boar so um let's find a rabbit that's the second ai all right let's let's throw a spear at him and see what he, he does there's a lot of stuff going on. I'd like less animals here, but whatever. I'll just turn it off and show you. So uh, the rabbit starts running away from the player, always. Uh, it won't st start running uh, if you're close, but it will start running if you uh, aggro it. And it will move away from you in a random direction, I, I mean random distance and it will recreate its uh, territory again so it's gonna start running inside its own territory uh, right now it ran only for a few like pixels or whatever uh, but that's probably gonna change as the rabbit would run a long time uh, from you in real life I want to make it real hard to survive the first few nights because it's usually the toughest part of uh, every survival game I've also reworked the, uh, how the trajectory for the spear is calculated, so uh, I, I like uh, punching rabbits, but yeah, uh, the spear now follows what is called a Bresenham algorithm, that's like the best stuff for uh, line calculations, so it's like more direct right now 
it goes precisely to the target, at least the target location at the time. Also uh, with the boar, it also uses the same algorithm to follow me around and uh, its uh, pathing is updated every second so uh, it's gonna change its own direction while it's walking it's not gonna just follow me to, to my last location and then find another location from there so it's more interactive as I said before uh, right now animals don't really well their behavior isn't triggered by uh, the presence of the character uh, but it is gonna affect them later on like rabbit is gonna run from you when you're close and the boar is probably gonna kick your ass if you're too close also about the graphics um, I get asked about how you make them uh, the boar was uh, something I actually find, found well uh, <laughs> I start by searching on Google for pixel art for the specific uh, type of image I want so this time it was boar I found a similar image which was like twice or three times so smaller uh, I liked some of its features especially the color palette so I've uh, picked up the color palette changed it a little bit and uh, tried to not to follow its silhouette that much but I got uh, I think I used parts of the legs and also I like the idea of the top hair stuff so I uh, kinda used that as well and uh, then I kinda just randomly tried to make highlights on the animal on the animal I think the highlights are kinda wrong but it looks uh, good enough for me to put it into the game uh, so I have something to test my code with also the animation is <laughs> I had to watch a YouTube video documentary about pigs <laughs> and how they run around because I had no idea how crazy pig is running around this is like the walking speed where the pig is barely moving it's like a big block of meat with little sticks and they just shuffle around and that's all the pig does when it's walking usually they have their tail up but I wanted to uh, leave it down and when a running animation is introduced into the game uh, the tail is gonna be like up meaning it's angry and like the animal is uh, shuffling from the head goes down when uh, it's on its front food or paw or whatever food right, let's go with food um, and uh, its uh, head is up when it's going in the in the opposite like way also just to make it a little bit less uh, ugly I added the head bob it goes down and up uh, every second frame and uh, the hair is kinda moving as well and the tail as well that's all about the that's the graphics on the pig oh, oh. alright uh, it's that's all I wanted to talk about. I'll see you guys in the next one.